it's that time of year again where things get a little bit spooky. And in our annual Halloween themed tradition, we always produce a video that's a little bit scary. This time, we're going to be taking a look at something that affects us all, and that is things that scare a furry. Telegram is down! Oh my god, what am I going to do? I can't talk to anybody. Oh my god, my channels, where are they? Now this, this is something I think that uh, most of us furries fear, and that is Telegram is down. Um, it seems to happen more often than it used to, let's put it that way, so maybe this is a fear we're all going to conquer. Well, I've more often. we're just going to get used to it. But um, yeah, it sucks, you can't get online, you can't send stickers, you can't see your groups, you can't see those other groups. Um, you know, you, you can't even just catch up with people. And you know what's even scarier? We don't even have people's mobiles numbers anymore. No. I, I don't think I actually know anyone else other than Bunny's number here in the room. I don't think I know their mobile number, so I don't think I can even text them. So what do you do? And Some of them are in different countries, you can't even ring them. So is there anything scarier than Telegram being down? Convention Hotel Lotteries! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I mean, what happens if I can't get a room? What happens if my friends get a room and I don't get a room? I mean, I don't know what's going on! <laughs> so this is, this is a relatively new fear I think we all have, and that is Convention Room Lotteries. I mean, previously, we used to have a different fear, which was called mashing the F5 button. You know, hoping that you would get a room, or that time that we got a room at MFF, and then it vanished because the website just crashed on us. But this, this fear is a new one. This is the host of conventions, because they're so busy, and fair enough, they've had to come up with new systems to kind of get around people who handle the, the amount of people. Yeah, and obviously people who try to abuse it, and try and just get rooms deliberately by running spam bots. That as um, well. I mean, while it's great that we have a lottery, and that means that people have a fair chance of a room, it's also really scary because it means you might not get a room, but all your friends do. Yeah. And, you know, what are your other options? Maybe find a local hotel? That's all you can do. So it's going to be a pretty scary process. So we've not done one yet because no. the puzzle hasn't opened yet, but that's gone lottery this year. Here we go. And I'm Cross your board. Shitless. Yeah. Out of suit photos. Is there anything worse than going through those photos from your meat or your cod and finding a picture of you with your head off? I don't want to be seen with my head off. I mean, no, it's not why I, I mean, no. You know, being identified as a furry for a lot of us is probably quite a big fear because maybe of our job, the people we know. And I don't really like pictures of me with my head off being out there that often. No, you know, it's, it just looks weird as well. Well, there's that, but honestly, it, you know, it's a big fear that I think a lot of us might have, especially if it's a really nice picture and lots of people are suddenly sharing it on Twitter. It's like, oh dear. Yeah. Oof. So it's kind of part cringe, part scary, but isn't that the scariest bit of all? Cringe. Cringe. CSI! Mom? Pop? What are you watching? Oh no. I think this is something that a lot of us fear happening and are quite scared of, and that is seeing that CSI TV episode on repeat. Uh. Um, you know, TV channels need more programming, so they often go for the old stuff because it's cheap, and unfortunately, well, that CSI episode that has happened to have furries in it, notably a... Still out there in syndication. Oh yeah, that's definitely out there, and quite frankly, I'm scared shitless of anyone I know watching that, particularly my mum, who does know that I kind of am a furry and have a fursuit, kind of watching it and going, hang on, isn't that what you do? Oh, oh I didn't know they did that. It's, it's such a terrible look. Yeah, definitely. I mean, let's not forget the actual look of those suits. Oh my god. So, but oh, the, yeah. no, it was it was bad at the time and it's still bad now, especially so, when you're trying to... You know, I something. think seeing that out of date, out of touch, completely incorrect program in a program planner is probably scarier than watching some kind of horror movie. And as we all know, there are other programs that are very similar to the CSI episode still out there. And they're just as scary too. And just as badly produced. Sticky paws! Oh, we're all having fun here in the park. Yes, yes, your kids can have a picture with me. No, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. They've got sticky hands. No, no, keep those things away from me. Keep them away from me. Is there anything worse than when you're in a fursuit than someone coming up to you with sticky hands? I mean, okay, Theo here used the kid as his example, but I've seen it with adults as well, especially at Sake and Fuzzled, where they've had maybe a few too many cocktails yeah. and they've got them all stuck over their hands. Yeah. You see their hands glistening, all sticky and gooey and evil. This sounds like something out of a Stephen King book. Maybe it could be one. 
<laughs> sticky paws. The stickiness. But sticky hands are a fear of every fursuiter. They'll destroy your fursuit, damage it, make you spend all night up cleaning it and trying to get that You don't want to do that with a con. And no one wants that. That is a nightmare. <laughs> your fursuit gets cloned. Somebody said to me, my fursuit's on uh, on a website. That's weird. Let's have a look. Uh, why am I on a website? Why am I on... Why am I only $500? What the hell? No, destroy the website. Come on, get rid of it. No, 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 no. No, no, nobody's buying me. No, no. Does anyone remember shop fursuit? No? Uh. Maybe you've seen the fake fursuits on AliExpress instead, or one of those many other websites that popped up. I think Shop Mascot was another one. And they did nothing but clone people's fursuits. So. Really mean. Is there anything scarier than going on that website and seeing your beloved creation, you, for sale, for less than $200? You know, um, I mean, fortunately, yes, these websites all got taken down really quickly, but there is always the scarier idea that someone out there was quick enough to go online and buy their very own Theodore Rabbit. And not only is that wrong... $300, actually. Not only is that wrong, but it's also scary to think that someone could be walking around as you. Using the wrong account! Most of us have multiple social media accounts. You have one for your family and friends. Mm. You have one for work. Yeah. You have one that's maybe a little bit on the furrier side. And then maybe you have another furry one that's on that side of things. Oh my! Right. So you're making a post, and you accidentally click the wrong link, or you don't realise what account you're on. No. And then suddenly, boom, that picture of you driving a car while dressed as a fox is all over your company's website. No. Or worse, your picture of you doing that, yes. Oh, no, not on that. On that account. Not with that. Is there anything scarier than posting social media on the wrong account? How do I get it off? Well, exactly. That's the scary side of it. No. Dangerous hugs. Hi, I'm Theodore Rabbit, and oh, oh, wait a minute, I'm being hugged from behind. Ah, oh my god, no, that's a bit, no, 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 sorry, no, please don't hug me from behind like that, please. Is there anything worse than when you're in fursuit, or maybe even just at a meet yourself, and being randomly grabbed, hugged from behind, squeezed, pulled, or worse, lifted? That's happened to a few people. Yeah, actually. I've seen that and, a few times. You know, that is a fear I think a lot of fursuiters have, is people not knowing our kind of limits. They think we're just these stuffed animals that they can throw and toss around without care. And, you know, that's quite scary, especially when you don't know who it is or how big they are from behind. Yeah. Because whilst I might be maybe a little on the heavy side, people could still actually lift me up, which shocks me alone. And that's also scary. <laughs> but, you know, that's pretty scary. So maybe if you want to make people less scared of this one, Stop hugging people from behind and be considerate around fursuiters. Yeah. Your boss finds out that you're a furry! Right, another day of work. Let's have a look through my emails. Oh, my boss wants to have a chat with me. What's the subject line? Oh, no. Why is there an attachment? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. So this is something that could happen to any one of us, no matter where you're working. Now, some people might get away with this and... They don't have to worry about this. But for many of us, there is this continuous fear that someone higher up in our company will find out that we're a furry. Yeah. And worse, maybe they'll have seen that CSI episode that we're also scared of yeah. and, you know, kind of judge us for that one. And, you know, even if maybe it's not something that they could fire us for because, you know, personal lives and what's not, they might still give us those weird looks or they, maybe they'll tell someone else internally and they'll also give us weird looks and maybe we'll just find ourselves ostracised from the entire company Yeah, just because of what we enjoy. I have heard of people unfortunately getting fired for so have I. people finding out the very just because of misconceptions They've had to fight for it, but you know. So, you know, this is something that maybe you shouldn't take lightly, but it's certainly something you'd be scared of and that is the potential of being found out. Going to the wrong room party! Oh, I'm so excited to be going to my fursuit maker's Yay! room party. Yay! Oh wait, this this room isn't this isn't my fursuit maker's room party at all! Oh! Ooh, yay bears! So there we go. Those were some things that definitely scare furries. What things scare you as a furry? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. Boop that subscribe button to subscribe to our channel 
and of course be sure to ring that shiny notification bell to find out when new videos arrive every week. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to our Patreon below, as well as our merchandise store where you can buy fantastic merchandise, including Yay Bears ones. I'm Shadow Raccoon, and I'm Theodore Rabbit, and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone! Bye!